Hello, everyone, uh, and welcome to another edition of the news of Valencia's Education Forum. Uh, today, we're going to talk with uh, Neville Gaunt about his fantastic uh, education workshop, uh, which is happening. And uh, Neville Gaunt, let me tell us more about it. Oh, hello, everyone. Thanks, Lefteris, and thanks for putting on this fantastic virtual conference. Really looking forward to it and the contributions, because it's going to be live. So, purpose of my workshop is really quite simple. You and I have been speaking about education over the last five years. In fact, ever since you and I first met on Twitter. And we've seen, frankly, no change or actually it's worsening in the world of art. Um, young people are now, I wouldn't say actively discouraged, but but it's pretty close. They're discouraged from moving into art subjects. It's more about STEM, STEM subjects. I prefer to call it STEAM because that's what it should be, and it shouldn't be a lot of hot air either. It should be about science, technology, engineering, art, and maths. And where I find we're struggling is in the area of design. No, no matter where we look, you've got a fantastic book cupboard behind you. Every single book has got a different design on it. It's obviously got different content. There's different pictures inside. They're all numbered the same, you know, one to a hundred or one to a thousand, but someone's put their heart and soul into it. Even the mug you're drinking from, it's got design. Your earphones has got design. And that, um, if we say Nike, do we get royalties? That Nike top you're wearing has got design. Okay. Thanks very much, Nike. You can sponsor the event. But the whole point about this is it's, it's, it's not just education or design in education, it's the whole concept of education. So why education? What are we doing in education that's providing the future for young people? It's their future. Are we therefore looking at what their future is now, might be in the future, what organizations, what businesses are really wanting from young people that come out of school, college, or university? And I think the answer to that is a big fat no. We're not. We're doing the same education system that we've done for the last 40 or 50 years. Certainly through my lifetime, I don't think it's changed much. Has it changed through yours? No, no. This, the story begins uh, a long time ago uh, when uh, uh, the Prussians lost the battle from Napoleon. Uh, oh, we're really John, going back now. John we're going back to another century. <laughs> yes, about the system exactly. based on loss of individuality and free creativity and free thinking. And so it's a very old story that uh, it's time that we break because what's obviously happening is that the, the world that the schools are, pre are preparing uh, the young for does not exist outside the schools anymore. We have, we have a very different world outside. So there's this dichotomy, this fantastic, this massive dichotomy between what is being taught in education and, and the life outside of the building. You're, you're absolutely right. It's a dichotomy. It's a paradox, really, because yeah. we all believe in education, but the point is we're not looking to, to what's needed out there today. You know, we need young people that have got a, a good knowledge of education, but more importantly, as ever, it's what they do with it how they can implement it. And something with that is, we, you know, we talk about these 10 top STEM skills. Communication is absolutely vital. But whereas we study maths for about 14 years at school, if you don't take it into the very high levels, we don't study communication at all. We might do one-off, you know, employability events when you're 14 or 15, but there's no build-up to it and there's no actually reflection and feedback of what it actually means. So the purpose of, of my little workshop is literally let's all come together. Let's talk about what is education for? What do we need to redesign what education is currently doing, so that fundamentally, in, in my words, is we're building the youth of tomorrow. Absolutely. We're giving them the skills 
for tomorrow. And that's as simple as it is, really. Um, so it's who, can, a shame. who can participate in the, into the workshop? Who Absolutely before? anybody. I mean, we, we would really like, you know, I'd love to hear what professors have got to say, you know, PhD graduates, um, even, even young people in the education system where perhaps a eureka moment has happened and they realise that their qualification is not a guarantee of a job. I mean, this isn't this isn't a post-COVID or a current COVID issue, okay? So we've been let's talking not about think, this for a long time. Yeah, we've been talking about this for a, a very long time. You know, um, you probably spend a lot of money on your hair, dyeing it that lovely little grey tints at the front. Mine is is natural. It's been here for years. Oh, it's like this. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> But the point is, you you know, I'm old and grey, and I'm in I'm in the latter part of of my life. Um, I'm not going to say we're going to get this right going forward, but we've got an opportunity now. Absolutely. But it's not a COVID issue. Let's not Absolutely. let's not hang this hook of COVID. This is a problem we've had for years, and I don't want to read headlines in the, the UK financial press that says one in 10 graduates are getting a graduate job. Because that is just crazy, you know? Graduates are coming out of university with a, a 50, 60,000, 70,000 euro mortgage that they've had to pay for this very expensive education. We need to make it value. We need Absolutely. to get so that they know they're coming out and they're going to be able to contribute to society. Because the last thing we want is a lot of young people that say, what did I do that for? Perfect. Because we're going to get them. So so people need to register. It's free. Uh, it's, when is it happening? Um, it's happening on the second day. On the second day? Yep. Unless you're going to tell me otherwise. No, no, it's up to you. It's up to you. <laughs> at, what time, at, what, at what time? At, um, what, what time did you plan? Uh, this is this is why it's live, folks. Right? Um, yes, of course, of course, of course. No, no. I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, it, it's it's when I think it's when I think the team needs to agree on a mutually convenient time, day, yep. a day in time. So once you register, and if you get accepted, because we are having lots of applications for this, so people need to to hurry up because there's a limited time with, with a lot of applications. So Neville has to uh, you have to write a sentence of why you want to uh, why you want to be part of the workshop. And uh, so if, you get, if you're lucky enough to get selected, then the team can arrange a mutually convenient time. We want people with passion. Absolutely. We want people that can take this forward. They're going to say it's fit for purpose and argue that quarter, that's fine by me, or it's not fit for purpose and let's argue that quarter. But let's come up with a design whereby we can look back in 10 years and say, I either told you so, <laughs> if it hasn't happened, or yes, someone's taken it on. So that's the way we need to feel. So thank you for the opportunity. Thank please, you. Thanks so much. Thanks so please much. Please come on board, everybody, because um, it's, as, as Left Terrace knows, I try to make these fun events um, and everybody will have a voice. We won't squash anyone's voice down. So uh, Fantastic. come along. Thanks so much. Thank you.